Sapphire is contained inside a two foot by three foot by four foot box that consists of an avionics bay containing the computer and instrumentation and a flow duct which holds the material to be burned. This will be carried aboard Orbital's Cygnus spacecraft during a scheduled cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. Once at the station, Sapphire will remain on Cygnus until all the supplies are offloaded by the crew of astronauts. Once supplies are offloaded and replaced with trash from the ISS, Cygnus will depart. Once reaching a safe distance from the station, NASA Glenn engineers working from Orbital's Mission Control Center in Dulles, Virginia, will remotely turn on the experiment. Cygnus will then be put into free drift while the Sapphire experiment is conducted up to two and one half hours. The experiments, sensors, and video cameras are designed to capture valuable data and imagery, documenting large-scale flame spread and material flammability limits. At the conclusion of the Sapphire experiment, the Cygnus vehicle will remain in orbit while the data captured is downlinked to several ground stations around the globe and transferred to NASA Glenn's scientists and engineers in Cleveland. When downlink is complete, Cygnus will then begin its re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere where it will burn up over the Pacific Ocean.